Let's get smarter today by reading Proverbs 14, a way that leads to hell. Lady Wisdom builds a lovely home. Sir Fool comes along and tears it down brick by brick. An honest life shows respect for God. A degenerate life is a slap in his face. Frivolous talk provokes a derisive smile. Wise speech evokes nothing but respect. No cattle, no crops. A good harvest requires a strong ox for the plow. A true witness never lies. A false witness makes a business of it. Cynics look high and low for wisdom and never find it. The open-minded find it right on top of their doorstep. Escape quickly from the company of fools. They're a waste of your time, a waste of your words. The wisdom of the wise keeps life on track. The foolishness of fools lands them in a ditch. The stupid ridicule right and wrong, but a moral life is a favored life. The person who shuns the bitter moments of friends will be an outsider at their celebrations. Lives of careless wrongdoing are tumble-down shacks. Holy living builds soaring cathedrals. I like that one. There's a way of life that looks harmless enough. Look again, it leads straight to hell. Sure, those people appear to be having a good time, but all that laughter will end in heartbreak. Sift and weigh every word. Verse 14. A mean person gets paid back in meanness, a gracious person in grace. The gullible believe anything they're told. The prudent sift and weigh every word. The wise watch their steps and avoid evil. Fools are headstrong and reckless. The hot-headed do things they'll later regret. The cold-hearted get the cold shoulder. Foolish dreamers live in a world of illusion. Wise realists plant their feet on the ground. Eventually, evil will pay tribute to good. The wicked will respect God-loyal people. An unlucky loser is shunned by all, but everyone loves a winner. It's criminal to ignore a neighbor in need, but compassion for the poor, what a blessing. Isn't it obvious that conspirators lose out while the thoughtful win love and trust? Hard work always pays off. Mere talk puts no bread on the table. The wise accumulate wisdom. Fools get stupider by the day. Verse 25, souls are saved by truthful witness and betrayed by the spread of lives. The fear of God builds up confidence and makes a world safe for your children. The fear of God is a spring of living water, so you won't go off drinking from poisoned wells. The mark of a good leader is loyal followers. Leadership is nothing without a following. Slowness to anger makes for deep understanding. A quick-tempered person stockpiles stupidity. <laughs> a sound mind makes for a robust body, but runaway emotions erode the bones. You insult your maker when you exploit the powerless. When you're kind to the poor, you honor God. The evil of bad people leaves them out in the cold. The integrity of good people creates a safe place for living. Lady wisdom is at home in an understanding heart. Fools never even get to say hello. God devotion makes a country strong. God avoidance leaves people weak. We need that in America, don't we? God devotion. And 35, diligent work gets a warm condemnation. Shiftless work earns an angry rebuke. Some great wisdom from Proverbs chapter 14. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. You can contact me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. 